Neutral PM. If there is anything that brought joy to so many Nigerians in the season of hardship in Nigeria where insecurity is on the rise, it was Nigeria's advancement into the finals of the AFCON 2023. Nigerians were filled with so much hope and joy, hoping to rejoice when they finally get to lift the trophy. However, unfortunately, on the 11th day of February 2023, which is the D-Day, the Super Eagles failed to impress their fan as they were outrightly out outplayed by, by the elephants of Côte d'Ivoire. The Ivorians outplayed the Super Eagles and deserved to win the cup, they deserved to win the game. The defense line was under so much pressure as the midfield was nothing to write home about and Nua Bali was receiving the eat of it all. If not as good as he was, we would have considered more goals than we did. Because of the weakness of the midfield, which many believed was as a result of Alex Iwobi's poor performance. Nigerians came for him immediately after Ivory Coast lifted the cup, blaming him for the poor performance of the Super Eagle and the reason why we lost the cup. Alex Iwobi, who couldn't take this, went on Instagram after they trod him that he was doing fine boy on Instagram and that judging by all these posts on Instagram, he should go for modeling and leave football alone. Not everyone can be bullied online and take it. I guess that was one of the reasons why Alex Iwobi went on his account and deleted all videos and photos, leaving just one. This is so unfortunate. In the game of football, either you win or you lose. It is part of the game. When you win, you rejoice, and when you lose, you take it in the spirit of sportsmanship. Nigerians need to learn that we will not win all the time, and we shouldn't come back to begin to troll, bully, and blame our players when they lose, because these same people made us proud in the previous games. Alex Iwobi has been blamed, including the coach, for not being tactically flexible, but what I I see here is a, is a team who do not have time to rehearse together, practice together. As a result of that, there are a lot of things they could not connect. Their understanding of one another was not so well compared to that of the Ivorians. Instead of bullying our players, we need to criticize constructively and make our points known and opinion. We need to know that none of these players want to lose. They want to lift that cup and add it to the archives of wins they've had in their careers. They were patriotic enough to come home and play for their country, even though what they are being paid here cannot be compared to what they will be giving in their club side. It's time to prepare for AFCON 2025 and not finally kill the morals of our players.